Let us understand how to solve 3D problems with trigonometry. Question is, person X and Y are on the ground 25 meter apart. The base of a tower stands such that the angle formed from base of the tower to person X to person Y is 50 degrees and the angle formed from the base of the tower to person Y to person X is 60 degrees. If the angle of elevation to the top of the tower from person X is 25 degrees, what is the angle of elevation for person Y to the top of the tower? Now in this situation, let us first sketch and then try to understand the question itself. So we have a tower here. So let's say that is the tower and let's name this tower as TB. That is the top of the tower and B is the base for our tower. And then what we have is there are two persons X and Y who are on the ground and the distance between them is 25 meters. So they are 25 meters apart. So let's say these are the two persons and the distance between them is 25 meters. And these persons are X and Y. And then it says this complicated statement, the base of the tower stands such that the angle formed from base of the tower to person X to person Y. That means from base of the tower to person X to person Y. So that means this angle formed is 50 degrees. So this angle is given to us as 50 degrees. And the angle formed from the base of the tower to person Y to person X is 60. So this angle from base to Y is given to us as 60 degrees. Correct? If the angle of elevation to the top of the tower from person X is 25, what is the angle of elevation from person Y? So angle of elevation will be from X to T, right? So that is vertical plane. So let's join these two points. So this angle is given to us, right? And this angle is given to us as 25 degrees. So we have 25 degrees. And what we need to find is what is the angle of elevation from person Y to the top. That means we need to find this, correct? Let me join this. So we need to find what this angle is, right? So we are given 50 degrees, which B makes with X, 60 degrees, which the base of the tower makes with Y, 25 degrees as angle of elevation. And what we need to find is the angle of elevation from Y to the top of the power tower. Let that be angle theta. Correct. So that is the question which we need to solve. I hope you understand how we have sketched this diagram. Go through it once again and try to understand if that's not absolutely clear. Now from this triangle, we can always find the vertical angle of the triangle, which should be equals to 180 minus 50 minus 60, correct? So that is 110. So 180 minus 110 is 70 degrees. So we get this angle as 70 degrees. So that is the angle XBT, which we found by doing 180 degrees minus 50 degrees minus 60 degrees. Since some of the angles is always 180, so we got this angle, and that we can say is angle XBY. Correct? So we got one angle. Now in this triangle BXY, we know three angles and one side, which is 25 meters. X to Y distance is 25 meters. We know that. Since we know 25 meters as one of the sides, we know the opposite angle. We can apply sine law and find what XB and YB are, correct? So let's apply sine law and do the calculation. So in the triangle XBY, so let's do triangle XBY, so we are applying the sine law. So we say we want to find the sine XB. Let's write it on top, XB over sine of 60 degrees is equal to by over sine of 50 degrees and that should be equal to 25 over sine of 70. Correct? Now let's calculate 25 over sine of 70 is what? 
So, 25 divided by sine of 70. It is 26.6044. So, we'll write this as 26.6044. Okay, let's go three decimal places. Now, from here, we can always find XB and BY, right? So, XB will be equal to 26.604 times sine of 60. So, we get 26.604 times sine of 60 degrees. And that is equals to, let me multiply this by sine of 60. And you get 23.04. 23.04. And similarly, we can find what is by, right? So we can get from here by equals to 26.604 times sine of 50, right? And that is equal to 26.604 times sine of 50 gives us 20.379. So I'll write 20.38, right? So let me write this as 20.38. So now we got these two sides, that is XB and BY, correct? So let me underline these two sides which we have. These are the two known sides for us. Now as you can see, if we consider the triangle T, X and B, now we know this side which we just calculated XB as 2304, right? So we got this as 2304. Now using this side, angle and we know this angle because this is vertical is 90 degrees right this is tower standing on the ground so everything on the ground is at 90 degrees to tower tb so that side is also 90 degrees correct that is kind of important to understand now here what do we need to find we really need to find height of the tower that means t to b right that is what we need to find from here so we can say what is tb over xp that is tan of 25 correct so we'll use tan of 25 degrees equals to tb over xp so from here we can get what is tb so tb is equals to xb times tan of 25 now XB is known to, known to us as 2304. So let's multiply by 2304 and get our answer. So we get this is 23.04 times tan of 25 degrees, right? So let's do 23.04 times tan of 25. That gives us 10.743. So we'll round it to 10.74. So 10.74 now is the height, right? 10.74 meters. Now if you see the triangle TBY, let's now consider the triangle TBY, right? So let's go to triangle TBY. That's the right angle triangle. We need to find angle theta and we know two sides of this triangle. So again, we can say what is tan theta? So you say tan theta is equal to TB over BY, right? TB over BY. And from here, we can find what theta is because TB and BY both are known to us, right? So from here, we can say theta is tan inverse of TB is given to us as 10.74 and BY is 20.38, right? So we'll do tan inverse within brackets 10.74 divided by 20.38 within brackets equals to 27.788 so we get 20 I mean 27.788 right so we can round this to 27.8 degrees so that is the angle theta for us correct so with that we have found what is the angle of elevation from person y to the top. The angle of elevation is 27.8 degrees, right? So that is our answer. So we can write down angle of elevation from y is 
27.8 degrees. Correct. So that is how we can answer this question. I hope you understand how we did it. Let's go through it once again. So that is the strategy actually which you have to understand. When you read a word problem, try to draw a figure to represent the word, word problem. Once you have a figure as we did here, then you need to see what is given to you, what you need to find and then find your way out. In this case we wanted to find angle of elevation from y. We were given triangle x, y, b. So we solved that triangle finding both the sides. right? And then we found the height of the tower which is common to both the angle triangles x, b, t and t, b, y. And that helped us to get the answer. So that is how we solved this question. I hope this strategy helps you to answer similar questions. Thank you and all the best.